Hello young friends Today we are going to learn about nature's treasures Natural treasures are the elements and resources that nature provides crucial for the survival of all living beings and improving our quality of life These treasures include air water sunlight soil plants animals and minerals each of these resources plays a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance and supporting life on earth let's explore them together next let's talk about air the air we breathe contains oxygen our body requires oxygen to work properly if we hold our breath for too long we don't get enough oxygen affecting our ability to function thus oxygen is essential for our survival similarly most living things also depend on oxygen to live air is a mixture of gases and it mainly consists of nitrogen 78% this is the most common gas in the atmosphere and it does not support burning oxygen 21% this gas is essential for breathing and burning other gases 1% this includes argon carbon dioxide neon helium methane and a few others that's what makes up the air all around us air is invisible but its presence can be observed through its effects for example wind moving air which can vary from gentle breezes to strong storms physical effects rustling leaves fluttering pages of a book or swaying clothes on a clothes line even though we can't see air we can feel it and see what it does now let's move on to water water covers around 2/3 of the earth's surface most of it is in oceans and seas but the salty water isn't suitable for drinking farming or industry for these uses we need fresh water which is found in ice sheets snow rivers lakes and underground only a small amount of fresh water in ponds rivers lakes and wells is easy to access water is really important and it is used in various daily life tasks such as drinking cooking bathing washing cleansing agriculture industrial purposes we need water every day for so many things the various sources of water are rivers flowing fresh water that is important for drinking irrigation and industry lakes large inland fresh water bodies used for various needs ponds smaller fresh water areas for irrigation and local requirements wells deep holes in the ground to reach underground fresh water these are the places we get our water from next let's talk about water pollution water pollution happens when we throw rubbish and waste into fresh water sources like rivers lakes and ponds water that is polluted is unsafe for living beings to drink as fresh water sources are limited many areas in india experience a water shortage 
we need to keep our water safe and clean. Now, let's see why conserving water matters. Access to water is not equal for everyone, making it crucial to conserve water and use it wisely. We should also keep water clean and prevent pollution to ensure it remains safe for all. Rainwater harvesting is one of the methods for conserving water. Let's use water carefully. Water harvesting is the collection and storage of rainwater for later use. Many homes, residential societies and schools also practice rainwater harvesting. Some regions use traditional methods like step wells, Bavadi in Rajasthan and Vav in Gujarat to gather rainwater and water from nearby lakes, ponds and rivers. This helps us save water. World Water Day is celebrated on 22nd March each year. It highlights the need to conserve water and avoid pollution, ensuring it remains safe for all living beings. It's a special day to think about water. Next, let's talk about the sun's energy. Sunlight helps plants make their food. The sun provides warmth and light to all living things. Life on Earth relies on the sun. We can also use energy from the sun directly for cooking in a solar cooker or for heating water in a solar water heater. The sun is amazing. Solar panels collect the sun's energy to create electricity. The sun is essential for life. Plants use the sun's energy to produce food which animals consume. This cycle relies on the sun making it our main energy source. The sun plays an important role in the water cycle by causing water to evaporate. The sun does so much for us. Next, let's explore forests. Forests are large areas covered with trees, plants, animals and birds. Forests provide us with fresh air, wood, medicines and food. They also help in keeping the environment clean and protecting wildlife. Many animals like tigers, elephants, deer and monkeys live in forests, making them their home. Forests are special places. Now, let's see why forests matter for animals. Forests provide a natural habitat for many wild animals, birds and insects, offering them food and shelter. Forests are essential for maintaining nature's balance, as every animal relies on other living beings for survival. Forests keep everything working together. Next, let's talk about forest conservation. The area of forest cover has been shrinking over the years, largely due to human actions such as extensive tree felling for agriculture, urban expansion and logging. Growing a new forest or restoring lost ones takes a long time. We need to protect our forests for a better future. Van Mahotsav is a week-long celebration held in July throughout the country to support forest conservation. During this event, new plants and trees are planted and awareness about the importance of respecting forests is raised. The goal is to enhance green cover and encourage communities to participate in efforts to conserve forests. Let's celebrate forests. Next, let's dig into soil. Soil contains various elements, such as sand, insects and worms, along with many tiny organisms that are invisible to the naked eye. When plants and animals die, they decompose and enrich the soil, contributing to its makeup. Soil samples from different areas can differ in color due to the variety of materials present. Soil is full of surprises. Now let's see how soil is made. Soil is created through the gradual breakdown of rocks by the sun, water and living organisms over thousands of years. Different types of soil are suitable for specific uses. Some are great for growing certain plants, while others are ideal for making bricks for construction. Forests host a diverse range of soils. 
soil takes a long time to form. Next, let's look at rocks. Rocks are commonly seen around us and are used in the building of houses, buildings, roads and other structures. Some rocks like slate are used for roofing, while laterite can be made into bricks. Notable rocks include granite, sandstone and marble. For thousands of years, humans have relied on rocks to create tools like hand axes and arrowheads. Rocks are very useful. Now let's talk about minerals. Minerals are crucial for manufacturing items such as airplanes, cars, etc. For instance, basic mobile phones contain many minerals including gold, silver, copper and cobalt. We should use minerals wisely as they take millions of years to be formed. Minerals are treasures inside rocks. Next, let's learn about fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are created from the remains of small organisms and plants buried deep within the earth. Petroleum, natural gas and coal are collectively known as fossil fuels. Fossil fuels exist in limited amounts. If we keep using them as we do now, they will run out soon. To prevent this, we need to look for alternative energy sources. Fossil fuels come from long ago. Now, let's see the types of fuels. Petrol and diesel are the most commonly used fuels for vehicles. They come from petroleum. Natural gas is used for cooking and generating electricity. It is now also used as compressed natural gas, CNG, for vehicles. It is a cleaner option than petrol or diesel. Coal is primarily used for electricity generation and is found in several regions of India. These fuels help us do many things. Burning fossil fuels produces smoke and carbon dioxide, which pollutes the air. Heavy reliance on fossil fuels for transport and home use has led to significant air pollution. We need to be careful about how we use them. Now let's see why conserving fossil fuels is important. Fossil fuels exist in limited amounts and if we continue to use them the way we do now, they will soon be exhausted. To prevent this, we must look for alternative energy sources. Moreover, burning fossil fuels releases smoke and carbon dioxide, which adds to air pollution. Let's save our fuels. It's important to know the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources. Fossil fuels are non-renewable while sources like solar and wind energy are renewable. We should use renewable energy more. Now, let's talk about natural resources. Resources essential for our existence come from nature, known as natural resources. Natural resources help us create many useful items that improve our daily lives, including electric bulbs, furniture, solar panels and bicycles. Nature gives us so much. Next, let's look at the types of natural resources. Renewable resources. These resources can be naturally renewed or restored over time. Examples include air, water and forests. Non-renewable resources. These resources exist in finite amounts and cannot be replenished quickly, once used. Examples include minerals, soil, rocks, coal, petroleum and natural gas. That's how they are different. Natural resources are materials provided by nature, essential for sustaining all life on earth. For instance, we get heat and light from the sun, water from rivers and food from plants and animals, all crucial for our survival. We need them every day. Natural resources such as air, water, soil, plants and animals are vital for our everyday lives. Key natural resources include air, water, sunlight, forests, soil, 
rocks, minerals and fossil fuels. We get all the resources from nature. Therefore, we must conserve our natural resources and use them responsibly without wasting them. Let's take care of them. We hope that you have understood the topic. You can now study chapter notes, watch video lectures and solve MCQ tests of this chapter on EduRev. To ensure you score well in your school exams. And that's not all, you also get amazing courses for maths, science, English, Hindi and much more. Thank you.